Hello, everybody. Welcome to Open Research Institute's uh, FPGA Meetup. This is uh, mainly about hypheraia uh, for Tuesday, the 9th of January, 2024. Uh, today, we uh, have a roundtable. Uh, people go around and talk about what they've, what they've done over the past bit, uh, what they have planned for the next uh, week or so, um, and if they have any roadblocks that uh, they need help with and need any, any resources. We do have a new user uh, in the remote labs. The name is Shankar. You probably see him logged in now and then. Otherwise, everything's situation normal. All right. Thank you. Yep. Sorry about the bird. Okay. <laughs> hey, Steve. Okay. I'm looking at the... I had to regenerate the block diagram. Uh, I had some, some issues with that, but... Um, so been trying to trace through where's the best point to insert the, uh, the PFB, the polyphase filter bank, uh, in the analog devices reference design. Uh, it's natively got a AXI interface on either side. Sorry about the bird. And... <laughs> Yeah, so I've uh, been looking at the block diagram on how to uh, insert the polyphase filter bank. It's natively got an AXI bus, but it's uh, you know doesn't have an address. It's kind of using AXI as just kind of a flow control data path. So there are there is a there is a natural AXI cut point in the block diagram head, feed, heading into the uh, the zinc. Uh, but there's a lot of control and address that polyphase filter bank doesn't natively have. So rather than try and pipeline all that and, and line it up, I'm, I'm looking more towards inserting it upstream. In There's a FIPO block um, kind of f further back in the chain that looks like it might be a, a good point to uh, to insert it. But uh, the bus width of that is 64, whereas the uh, polyphase filter bank is natively 32. So I've got to resize that. And I've got to look at the flow control of the signals there. They don't quite match up, but I think it's mostly a polarity issue. So that's, um, yeah. So it, it try, trying to uh, adapt it. And I've got the, uh, the tickle script. I think it's, I see the, the, like the raw source that's doing the connectivity for that block diagram now. And it's basically editing out the stuff that is currently in place as a cut. And then a, a jump will be adding new lines to stitch in the um, polyphase filter bank. So that's, that's, that's the uh, task in front of me right now. It's, it's, it, I got to figure out how to adapt the, uh, the bus widths and the flow control so looking at that right now okay fantastic uh we we have a a forked copy of Suato's excellent uh fpga cores repository which has all sorts of utilities that we've used in the past um and it's all open source a really nice collection this is the place that we put the what we call the m beginner uh, on the transmit side we have essentially the same problem where we had to uh, increase the size of the bus coming out of the uh, DVB S2 encoder and to match up with the reference design. Um, because I, I believe, as you advised us in the past, to don't touch the reference design, uh, adapt to it. And, and so that, that block uh, went in between the, um, the encoder uh, and the DAC FIFO. So I believe that there's a, a, an existing a reducer, a reduction block that that uh, Swato has done, um, and we'll we'll go over that next. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and hook it up as as best you can, and then um, take a look at the uh, the FPGA underscore cores uh, repository. Um, so we 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 went ahead and forked a copy, and then we'll we'll of course uh, anything that that Swato thinks is useful, we'll present back to him for for whether or not he wants to include it in the main line. So that, that should help. Um, yep. So going forward, I'm looking for 
Um, like I'm, I'm traversing down in the eight analog devices RTL looking for how the uh, source code is defined it like for like the CPAC block that I want to stitch up to and to understand what the uh, overflow and it seems like there's a corresponding signal for valid and you know the flow control signals that AXI it, it does seem like there's corresponding signals but I'm not they're not you know they're not named the same so I just need to look at the definition in, in the source and I'm currently not quite able to find the like the actual RTL for like the CPAC block or whatever, but I'll, I'll keep looking for that. So. Okay. Yeah. If, if it doesn't become clear later today, looking around for it, uh, write me back and I think I can, I can probably get you to the right spot. Cool. Okay. Uh, tomorrow okay. we have a meeting. If, uh, if anybody is following along with, with this work uh, for the, for the transponder, uh, high for IEA, uh, tomorrow is our kickoff meeting for Neptune, the, the um, OFDM based, uh, physical layer data link uh, for drones and, and aerospace. Uh, so, so lots of similar work with a similar uh, FPGA development station, um, and and plenty going on over there. So, until until next week, uh, thank you everybody, and see you soon. Yep, Steve says bye. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> bye bye, Steve.